Hey guys, welcome back to my video. I'm going to try to make this as short as possible. So let's start. Uh, this is part three where we uh, add everything uh, into the Steam Deck for the mods. Before before you do everything, make sure everything is ready. And before that, also I want you to do something which is very important. I want you to move your PC folder from your bin uh, config r4 game this one into your desktop and then also i want you to move your tlc mods and script manager all into your desktop so if there is any syslink files it just transfer it to ws files and then so when you transfer it will have data in the files so when once you do all that you can connect your steam deck to your pc i will leave a guide down below on how to do that it's the kmtp if you know how to do it you don't even have to watch it so you're good to go um go to dot steam go to steam steam apps come on what i like to do right since i have the mods already in some other mods what i like to do is go to comp data go to 29030 pfx drive c uh, users steam users and into documents and you remember what we did on pc right the things we deleted do it here too so let's see what do we have uh, let's make this a bit smaller so okay the user settings but this is settings file, so we keep it. This is a bug file, we remove this one. And then mods, input mods, profile, profile settings, keep this one, Steam, user, what takes, right? We're good here. Let's go to Steam apps again. Common. And where is Witcher 3? Witcher 3 and here are the mods i already have some mods here so don't think of it like even if you don't have it first what i'm gonna need you to do is transfer the witcher script merger first do this one it's going to take some time every one of them is probably going to take some time so just let it do it first do the script merger please and also keep your steam deck on the steam version don't be on desktop mode for some reason it bugs out and the file transfer fails just keep it like that let it transfer let it do its thing all right i'll pause the video and when it's done i'll come back and that's happened by the way the folder closes as long as this one doesn't close you're good to go okay uh, my script manager is done uh transferring so let's go back um guys uh, just in case you can start with verifying the files before starting this entire video verify your files and then do whatever you have to do anyway let's go back to our game steam steam uh where the fuck steam apps come on and let's go with mods actually no dlc let's go with dlc first and sometimes you need to do uh, i like to do this because first time i did this i had a lot of dlc bugs so like completely deleting your dlc folder let's just check how much i have here let's just check how much i have here i have 53 is that weird it might be weird. I'll just double check it again. Yeah, okay. Now uh, that means maybe I have less mods on the DLC from last time. Okay. I want to go back here. Delete this. have my dlc 
this one and the mods is going to take some time so verifying your files before starting everything like i said uh, before the witcher script merger is going to save you some time in case an issue comes later make sure you delete your dlc folder make sure there is no steam workshop uh, steam workshop mods anyway after it's done i'll come back to this okay now it has been transferred let's refresh this let's check the dlc it's 53 we're good to go um earlier the other day i had an issue so i would like to do our for game user config matrix and transfer the pc file before i transfer the mods i don't want to have issues i don't want you guys to have issues either and once you do that i want you to come down here and input xml i want you guys to delete this when you transfer it okay go back to witcher 3 wait was that the correct one and put xml yeah that was the correct one and then on the mods you can either delete the mods or add it completely i have around like four and five new ones six, no more than like let's just say 10 new ones right what i want to do is just do this yes this is going to take the longest one so just after you've done this uh, you'll find that goes behind so let it do its thing um please follow it exactly the way i'm doing it because if you don't there's a chance that it's going to fail transferring again and again and again trust me i've been working on this for one week barely sleeping making it work and i finally did it so please just follow it i don't want you guys to struggle the same way i did that's why i'm making this video i haven't seen any steam deck guide for witcher 3 so i'm trying to help you guys out please for the love of god do what i do and then just have fun i don't know if you can do it exactly with every other collection i haven't tried all the collections but what i'm trying to show you is that whatever install guide you have you can do it the same way on your steam deck is just that you have to make sure everything works on your pc first make sure everything gets on your desktop first everything is done then i'll show you the continuation for now i'll pause the video because i don't want you guys listening to me uh, talking for 40 minutes it's probably going to take around 30 minutes to send this not 13 hours but yeah uh, i'll come back to you guys two on the steam deck and 203 here the only one that didn't go is this one which is absolutely fine it is what we want anyway it goes it doesn't go it doesn't fucking matter right now comes the important part what we're gonna do now is go back to steam apps go back to comp data go to 292030 that is our picture tree Go to users, team user, documents, tier three. Now that we are here, remember that stuff we downloaded earlier? Right. Now I'm gonna give it a couple tries and see what works and what does not work. But first, I'm always going to transfer the mod priority file, copy and replace, go down. 
ready settings copy and replace I'll do it once again because I don't know what I have okay now for now it should be good you know what I'm gonna do is just test out if it finds from the other folder scheme like you know for the XML files pre-merge scripts merge bundle I might have to put merge inventory back in so I will check them now one by one do I need to like actually I can just do it let me just do it let's let's do it go to steam apps let's read what they're going mode priority file is going to documents which we did this one and this one is going I'm not gonna put this one for now I'm not gonna put anything actually I'm going to yeah I'm not going to put anything for now I'll just go to desktop mode on my steam deck because we already transferred the files so the thing is it might have some data it might want to do something but I'm going to desktop mode right um i cannot share my screen can i one sec steam library mature tree okay now if we don't have any issues We'll just load into the game of course after i press play now we're just trying it out for now um just a reminder if it does work immediately uh, all your settings you'll have to do them again but your save file will be saved if you're using the same account of course Script merger should pop up now, trying out the scripts. Usually it happens only on the first time you're opening it. Let's see. Sounds good, looks good. There we go, it worked. As long as you open the game. Right, now what we're going to check, as you can see it's modded. What we're going to check now is if we can continue. If we can, that means we might we have a DLC issue. We do not have a DLC issue. It works completely fine. You have to go configure your settings. All your well, right now, all the settings are on ultra, so it's going to look very choppy. So I need to go and uh, manage all my settings again because, of course, it's a Steam Deck. It can't handle everything on ultra, but the graphics looks really good though. And it's an OLED. And actually, like, don't trust the camera. What I'm seeing right now is actually beautiful as fuck. There you go. If you remember the last video, this is where I was. Anyway. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day. You don't have to do anything else. This is how you transfer your collection mods into your Steam Deck on your PC. It's probably the easiest way to do it, especially for Witcher 3. For some reason, it's very complicated. But anyway, have a good day, guys. If I was helpful, please give me a like. It helps along the way. If you don't want to give it, don't give it. It's fine. Goodbye.